Uh, I think I think we were just played well and fortunate to get off the good start against a pitcher, the quality of Brendan Beck, and um, I think that was good for Reed. Not that anything bothers Reed. I think he had a couple long innings, and uh, uh, I thought we left some men on base. And and uh, when they came back and got that three spot there in the seventh, all you could think about was the men you left on base. And then we come up in the ninth, and uh, that was a big, big inning for us. And um, so just Reed Johnson was Reed Johnston. Uh, Evan Justice was Evan Justice. And I just thought some guys at the top of the lineup had big, big days. Uh, we'll start with Andrew Schnitteker, if you please. Yeah, Elliot, looking at Johnny, as you mentioned the top of the lineup, but looking at Johnny, obviously he's a guy all year for you who's come up in big spot, big and big spots. But when you look at some of the big hits that he had today when you guys needed them, just how valuable is it to have a guy you can count on that you just know is going to go out there and get it done with runners in scoring position? You know, he's just a tremendous player. I've said it all year. You know, he's that guy that – when you coach him every day and you see him at practice every day and you see how consistent he is, he's a model of consistency in everything he does, base running, outfield play, um, everything he does. And um, he uh, – guys like that sometimes fly under the radar, but I think it's hard for Johnny Butler to fly under the radar. I think people started taking notice of him midway through the season, and uh, he's just a tremendous player who uh, continues to play better and better. Uh, moving moving on, we'll have Brian Pirtle. Yes, hey coach, Brian Pirtle here with the technician. Um, this really felt like a team win today. You mentioned uh, you mentioned that there was a good production from a good few guys, but uh, if, unless my scoring is incorrect, I believe ev everyone in the starting nine reached base in some form or another. Um, how 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 would you say about that? How um, each uh, each of the member of the every member of the team that took the field today, how they contributed to the win? It's always been a team win with us. That's the way it's been all year. You know, we played for the last three months. It's no secret we played nine guys pretty much every day. Murr likes to say it's nine guys from nine states. And uh, they've, they've all, throughout the year, I said it at the beginning of the year, this is a team that throughout the lineup can figure out how to be productive and score runs. And that's the name of the game. And we score it in different ways because we can bunt, we can run. We can hit with power, hit gaps, you know, singles, and uh, we just do it in different ways. And when you get to this stage with all the quality pitching that's out there throughout the country, you have to be able to be versatile to score runs in this environment. And uh, I think that's, once again, that showed. Uh, Alex Sawyer, you are up. Yeah, Elliot, Alex Sawyer with Pat Pride. Johnny Butler said that, you know, they don't worry when – Evan Justice is in a game. He said that he feels like if you guys are up in the seventh or eighth, that he feels confident because he knows Evan's going to get it done. We've talked about that so much this year, but just his consistency and him bringing that here in Omaha, just how much of a boost, how much does that help the team to have him being a guy that can go two, three innings and you know what you're going to get from him? Well, it's just Johnny's referring. It's, it's not just to the quality of uh, – stuff that Evan has. It's his work ethic. It's everything these guys have seen each other do all year long. Luca Tresh come in before everybody uh, an hour early, and he's caught every game this year to keep his body in tremendous shape. And Evan Justice, the things he does with treatment from Scott Insel and all the things he does to prepare himself uh, for these situations. And so they're talking about, they know the preparation, they know the work ethic, and then they know uh, the the will to win and how he, the intensity with which with which Evan goes about his business, but is still able to relax to the situation and he shows great poise and uh, confidence in himself. So you know we have that confidence in Evan, but we have that confidence in a lot of people right now. Um, Mike Topper, you're up. Uh, this is Mike Topper from Spectrum News One. Uh, Coach, firstly, love the old school Tuffy T-shirt there. And uh, secondly, obviously, the scouting report uh, paid off. I was wondering if you could just give us your thoughts of the approach at the plate, obviously 12 hits, 10 runs, and, and how you guys were able to produce offensively. Yeah, thanks for the comment on the, the uh, whatever you call it. You call it the slobbering wolf, whatever you call it. But this is the wolf that we had when those guys, Monty Tal, David Thompson, Tim Stoddard, 
those guys won a national championship, Tommy Burleson. And that, this was the wolf of the 70s, and uh, I'm glad to see they brought it back because this is what we all remember in the glory days of NC State. And uh, But anyway, back to your question. Say your question again. You're unmuted. You're muted. Evan, oh, there he is. Uh, well, this is Evan Blaine with the Omaha World Herald. I'll ask a different one, Coach. Uh, oh. You guys hit uh, two home runs today. I'm curious, does this park feel like it plays bigger than other venues, or did you expect to continue to hit home runs like you guys have all year? With a ball that Devontae hit, even though I thought he got it off the end of a little bit, I, when he hit it, I thought it was gone. It kind of reminded me of the ball that Trey Turner left in the ballpark against UCLA back in 13. And uh, But we noticed the ball was carrying a little bit better in BP today, and obviously it carried a little bit better during the game. So this is definitely uh, carrying a little bit better than it has at Ohm Hall from what I remember in 2013. Uh, any other questions for Coach? Oh, Evan? Do you have another question? I oh, missed one nice. question. Okay. Uh, if nobody else has anything else, we'll let Coach enjoy the victory today. Thank you, Thank you, you for joining us. Guy, I don't remember what it was. You can find a recording of this press conference in the NCAA Digital Hub, Media Hub at www.ncaa.baritone.com and tra transcripts are available at www.ncaa.com slash transcripts. Thanks for joining us today, guys and gals.